get out of there. It is a nightmare. Let's see what happens. A little bit of a battle down the middle initially, but the rest of them, initially in upper dark, I actually thought maybe they would go for some sort of crazy rush, but they didn't. They fallen. They yeah. fallen. He spotted. He saw that three guys were in mid. That's more than enough to call off the rush. Had there been some kind of cheating, had they had they gone towards, you know, cheated four towards A and just leave, left the one guy in mid, 100% liquid or rushing B. But uh, Fallen was there. He's the security. He gets the info. And we'll get a slower round now. Sib. Listening, thinking about it. He certainly got the right idea, but timing. Timing is everything. And he's not going to hit that shot. Lucky and Dupree are down and long, hanging out there. Naf holding up a dark and... The rest of them are just all in the middle. And this is one of those, you can do whatever you want here, right? You can set it up for a B-split. That's what that smoke is usually for. You could have gone catwalk instead. They're gonna come jumping out and Bobski. I'm shocked that he even got that one kill. Even that is pretty impressive. But trouble inside of the B-bomb side. Meg is trying to fight his way out. He actually does get the bomb. He can't get the flick though, but they have to slow it down. They have to pick up that bomb. Sip has got a kill on Stewie in the meantime. Megas did so much. Look at that. They have to go back out. They will just steal it away. And now it's a two on three with the bomb plant. While they're boosting, they steal that bomb. That's uh, that's actually crazy. The Strolls may be kicking themselves a little bit. Wow. Dupree on the flank. Dupree on the flank. Yeah, but Naf is up there with the P250, and he just exploded that one. Now it's Dupree, and Naf goes down. Lucky. The one kill that he needed right there. He got another one earlier as well. Going to find the bomb, and that will be Astral. It's picking up the pistol round. Terrific pistol. That was just an out-and-out -out brawl. But I love the call from Liquid, the way that that worked out to just go straight and made him work for it. Now tell me, who won this pistol? Round? I mean, it's hard to say. Is it <laughs> bomb plant, AKs, and scout on Fallen? Yeah, madness. There's a lot of firepower on this uh, this here team, Liquid. Oh, what a flash! Oh, oh, Nat, are you kidding? He just sprays. He was he was flashed as well. That is. So upset. I love to see that from Nas' point of view. That is... It would, it would just be a lot of gray. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you're not seeing anything, really. <clears throat> That's funny only if you're not on the receiving end. <laughs> All right. Three people falling back towards the T-spawn. Elish hanging around in, in pit. A great way to sell the fact that you're still long and that they should keep a lot of people over here is doing exactly what they're doing here. Oh. Almost getting the kill, but Sip will find him. Can they get back to help out Dupree in time, though? He has got an HE, he's got a flashbang and an MP9, playing it real close at the moment, and two of them don't have any armor. The grenade, oh, it's right on top of him. That is a big grenade. And the MP9 to follow it up. They are in a lot of trouble here, Liquid. They almost had the timing of Dupree. He's going to chew them apart right here. Great triple with the grenade on top, and they're going to end up picking it up. I'm loving it, dude. What fans. It would just be huge for them to get to make it to this event. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And especially by then, if they have more time to play Lucky back into it, yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of things that could work out even better by then. So, yeah, I think they are keenly motivated to try and make this work. The Eagles are back in play. And I guess just to point out again, to retreat. Oh, wait a minute. Slowed it down. The fact that some of them didn't have armor was a big deal in that round for that MP9. Dupree out hunting once again. Just going to be fallen left. Just count on Dupree to, to, to hold the line, right? The man is unflappable. He played that HE perfectly and played the angle perfectly. And now another HE. Oh! <laughs> fallen not able to afford head armor. Likely completely insignificant, but I'm just pointing it out because there are some edge cases where it makes a difference. So we'll be looking for those. Default split coming out from Liquid, taking outside of long, middle, and upper and lower dark. Common stuff. Standard stuff. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy here. Elise looked like he wanted to set up for the uh, door smoke. Krieg on Naf, by the way. Yeah, pretty cool to see. Oh, and Dupree, nice little peek for info. They know now there's going to be a hard rotate. There should be a hard rotate coming out here from Astralis. I wonder who heard who up. Did he he saw Grimm? Grimm backing off. Wait. Okay, we're going to get them to confirm it then. Magus is going to set up for the flash. Dupree's going to confirm. Nobody is here. Magus is going to start hightailing it. They need to start rotating now to get onto the A site. 
If Lucky goes down, Sip is on an island with absolutely nothing left. Magus is almost there. He's running fast, and they will have heard that running too. Molotov to try and slow them down. Guessing the timing, maybe. It's going to be Magus to go down first. Sip with a kill on the other side, but is it enough here? 35 seconds, 4 on 4. Nice angle for Sip. He's finally going to go down, but the flank is in. Bobski took a second longer than I would have liked, but it doesn't matter. He's going to get a kill anyway. Now it's all on Neff. 25 seconds, Krieg in hand, and I mean, he should not get a chance to even get close to winning this round. He has to get the bomb and fight them off at the same time. They just have to not get him any easy kills, and they should be in a pretty good position here. He's trying to bait them out into it. 10 seconds now on the clock, and he's running back. They're all over him, and it's going to be on line for Liquid. Again, just Stewie spotting mid, trying to get some information, but we're not getting anything crazy. I'm thinking that uh, right now Liquid, unfortunately for them, have not gotten any long spawns, and that's kind of throwing a wrench in things for him. It's one of those elements that you have to keep in mind on Dust2. Oh, look at this. That's a mid-smoke to pretend that you're going for a beast floor. Actually, you're all the other side. Fair enough. Setting that one up. I thought it was going to be for TT spawn. You're right, sorry, about the long spawns, yeah. Especially if you can afford the AWP, right? Yeah, it's painful. But it's almost, it's just luck of the draw. And your T side can get really screwed up if you're not getting a good long spawn. You just can't ever pressure out long, effectively. Let's see. Once again, smoke on the angle. We could get the smoke on CT. There's three there. It is B bomb side. They're so set up for this B split. They see it coming. And they're going to be able to shut this one down. Just fine. A little bit of a hiccup there. As Stewie comes in. Maybe more than a hiccup. Taking two kills. And just like that, it is a two on two. I did not see the tech line doing that much damage. It looked like they had pretty much locked it in. Stewie a little bit low on health. There is no one nades apart from the smoke and the flashbang here on the Astralis side. Creating some space behind that. And they get a good flash. They're just waiting for that uh, smoke in the door to go away. And then they're going to set it up. Flash is in. Not really affecting anyone. Good kill from Elysia. Now it's on Bobski. One versus two. And it's looking real rough at the moment. He's going to get shut down. Stone got a good spawn for long as well. He's going to be able to take a peek here. There it is. <laughs> Finally, they get a good spawn, and Liquid are able to take full advantage of it. Man advantage for Liquid. That smoke goes up, and he's, he's just counting the milliseconds in his brain somehow. Like, I know. I know exactly when to fire this gun. This is Now we've got a game on our hands. It was looking like Astralis were getting geared up to run away with it, and now Liquid. Man advantage in this key round, and uh, Astralis is going to be the ones who are hard-pressed. No money in the bank for Astralis. This is a must-win round for them. And again, they feel the weakness of that B bomb site. They're going to try and test it. Astralis are actually playing outside of it, hoping for a split, because then they can kill one side of it. A little bit of a wild spray there for Bubski. Wanted a double kill. Doesn't quite get it. Bomb, though, on the ground. Can be awkward. Flashed in before any kind of action even happened. He's dropped down. Oh, Sip! That is magnificent. That brings them back into the game ever so slightly. They're going to give the orc to Magus because he's low on health. And now the question is, can they win this 2-on-2? Two two? They couldn't get the last one in there. But Sip just made it doable. Bomb is going to go down and no one can stop that off angle. And Magus is going to be found. Nice play from Naf. And Lucky. Newcomer to the team. A lot on his shoulders. And the question is, is it worth going for... If the option is saving the AWP, because you're not going to have anything else really to work with. He's thinking about it. Tries to bait out the shot. Oh, he's so ice cold. Naf is not peeking it. He's been playing this game for a long, long time. And now he's trapped in here. He can't escape. He tries to get the... Sp but good news for us, as you pointed out, it's nice to have a close third map. We want the competition, don't we, to decide who's going to get into the arena. Naf, ready in case they're trying to be aggressive. This is going to be hard to find if you're coming out from the holes. This is just a real rough one, though, because, I mean, I imagine right now what's going on is that production or everybody's cheering on Astralis, except that everybody in the green room is pretty much from NA, so we're all cheering for Liquid. But a mixed setup. Don't got a bit of a mix of setup going on right now, yeah, on the uh, production side. Naf handling everything in spite of kind of screwing up the initial kills with the AK, but whatever. Naf doesn't really seem to get stressed when he's like, there's no matter how much pressure you put him under, he's like, just the same face. Unfazed. Just doesn't care. No, yeah, he's, he's unconcerned. I, I, I love it. It's amazing. Grim. Gonna eventually. Yeah, I'm supposed to go. All right. 
Now we're going to get that buy round coming here from Astralis. No kits, no helmets, everything to get nades on the board. And they expected a long play here. Early long presence from Astralis. And Bubsky pushed up on Catwalk, but Bubsky likes to do this. Elise looking for the punish. And there it is. Catches Bubsky out. Hmm. It wasn't a quick kill at all. I feel like Bubsky could have could have escaped by just crouching and and looking down in the ground, probably. That is the thing, is that there is tape for uh Liquid to go over when it comes to uh, facing off against Astralis. Astralis went up against EG on Dust2. 16-11 was, was the score line there. But we did see a lot of action on Catwalk from Bubsky then. Okay. So Liquid can have that in the back of their minds. Fallen. Expecting something. There's no one defending the A-bomb side right now for Astralis. Sip is alone down and long. I mean, if he can defend that on his own, then of course they can go for the retake. Can he 45 that? seconds, that's we're about Zip. to find out. Almost no nades left either on the Astrala side, making even defending the bomb site quite difficult. Now, because of the delay there for Liquid in picking up the bomb, actually Dupree and Lucky are on the bomb site. Sip is crouching through. Grim, thinking about it, I think he saw it. Yeah, he saw that. Now it's just a bit of an awkward battle. He wants to smoke it off. Is it going to buy time? They almost have to go through. Oh, they're in a lot of trouble. They have to go back to the other side. And they're being shut down. The bomb is now on the ground, and this round is washed away. Mostly, I think, by the fact that suddenly the plan for Liquid, that they know the weakness of the B-bomb site, they feel really confident that they can pop through smoke and take, you know, just take the fight straight up. And that means Astralis, I mean, if they can go back and exploit that every once in a while, they can actually put a lot of pressure on them to, to keep having more people here. Instead of going for, uh, for you know, just a single lone defender in the bomb site and having more people middle or whatever, or maybe a, more of a setup the other was bomb site, they have to respect that fact all the time. Uh, the frustrating thing for Liquid is that they punished the catwalk setup. So that was a thing where you know Bubsky he got he got beaten up. Nice timing here from Elise. Yeah. Catching Megas got completely there. And the fact that they get slowed down by the Molotov does not matter in that scenario. Plenty of time. Oh, Fallen. Catching Dupree. That's a nice little shot. And it leaves Bubsky alone inside of the bomb site. There is no formula for how to win this if you're Bubsky. Just prayer. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Close your eyes and just, just hope that you hit every single shot. They might be closed for you in a second here. He's letting them out. There's one kill and he tries to swing on the next one. Don't really blame him for it. It's, I mean, what do you do? Man, for a second, I thought he was just going to let him go. That could have been a disaster. It could have been, right? But for all we know, the second guy checks it anyway. That that does happen too. So uh, you know, Maybe you get a leashed. Yeah. Yeah, like that's the that's the, if if we did that we would have said oh, he should have. Oh. And this is a golden opportunity for Liquid to just take this first half by the horns. Oh, okay. Big fight going down here from Astralis, just pushing Catwalk, trying to get frisky. But uh, Liquid, I mean, this is a hard eco for Astralis, and so Liquid, if they're patient, they should be able to control this situation. Magus gets caught outside of B, spotted a bunch of players Catwalk as well, so. Thing is, for Liquid, all they need to do is group up, and they know this. They just need to group up as four. They have fire superiority. There's no reason for them to be splitting up at all. Just group as group as a group and just walk onto a bomb site. Yeah, don't give up any rifles. I'm like, not super jazzed by Grim running off alone right now. You know what I mean? Like, no, there's no real reason for this. Yeah, I want. I mean, especially if I wonder if they've thrown away the rifle in the middle because there's that little plateau you can throw it up on. So that no one can pick it up. You have to you have to assume that they have. Naf is hanging around like he's guarding the rifles, or maybe not. Almost gonna be walking into Bubsky. And it should be an easy kill for Naf. Making a lot of noise, but who cares? USP will found out already and the scoreline is tied. I think it's pretty exciting. It's terrific, Anders is terrific. I mean, this is really what we were hoping for on the third map decider between these two teams, especially after they've had time on two maps to really try and get a feel for each other's games. This is where the mind game starts to really kick in. And we can see just how well Fallen is integrated into Liquid. And well, Magus, you know, having to just pick up uh, the leadership on Astralis on the fly. So, back into it. Now, however, Elysian Stewie will be able to clear out Catwalk early-ish this time around. 
Oh. Maybe could have been something behind that flashbang, but they call it off. Okay, this is interesting because now Liquid have early cat control. Very early cat control. They could easily fake a catwalk hit and go back to a B split. It can happen so fast. Oh, they jump down instead. That is a cool play. Dupree not ready for it. And remember they caught him earlier with a grenade in hand? This time catching him slightly differently. And that has got to be annoying. Meg is trying to escape from that. Lucky. Good timing on the nade, I think. Does a little bit of damage. A little fair bit of damage to Stewie as well. But they gotta be worried about the middle elite. She's still holding it. Lucky on his own with an orb in hand. It's a good shot, but he can't get back around the corner. And they lose the bomb site and have to save the guns. Not enough. Not enough. And Zep and Bubsky don't want to have anything to do with this. If anything, they're hoping they can just wrap back around over here towards Long and post up. But uh, Elige out hunting right now for some guns, hoping to see if he can catch somebody. But unfortunately, <laughs> nobody to be found. But this was perfect. This was just Liquid playing off. Uh, what an inspired call in the mid there to just call to, to get cat control like that and then to decide, you know what, Elige, just jump into CT, see what we can do. He had one flash over the top to lead the way for him, and he just catches Dupree with his pants down. And you know what's no accident? That is a a bit of a stable strategy that MIBR used to run mm -hmm. on Dust2, mm -hmm. that, that flying over the, the edge. So, I think, uh, you think superior team at the moment here on, on Dust2. It's actually really impressive to see. Uh, this is this is the nightmare, isn't it? I mean, we're going to get max loss bonus for Astralis, but uh, again, CT side, you get limited on your nades. That last buy round for Astralis, right? They're still limited on gear, no kits, just you know, whatever nades they could afford. They're not getting fully equipped. It's not the same thing as, you know, for Liquid where when Liquid start having money in the bank, at least after a full buy nearly has 12,000, right? Then you just got full nades, you have everything, you get to do your execute, you get to run your strategies. It's a totally different game. Astralis now, I mean, they need a decisive next round. I mean, if, if yeah. they can't get, if they can't pull off an upset round here with these Deagles, they need a decisive win in the next round to have a chance. And I doubt it, because it's uh, Dupree alone against four. They did give him a chance there, crouching in, but now they're going to try and see if they can run him down. Good shot on one, trying to conserve the bullets as much as he can. But eventually they'll get him. All right, then. Bubs, he didn't really see Stewie there. That's fair. Four on three, but still should be a pretty good round here for Liquid. A little bit of a boost over. I don't know if he actually spotted anything. I doubt it. Not going to get a chance to see anyone on top of that, but it's worth trying. Why not? Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, the timing. Naf almost walking into that. Could have been painful. They have that AK outside, which again is a pretty valuable tool to, to keep alive. Pushing in through the door. The timing is great for Elise. Standing up behind there. And he gets a quick triple. The AK though is making his escape, so I think that's fine. I think this round is alright for Astralis, all things considered. Especially if they can save the AK-47. I should say... Dust 2 is probably one of the worst maps, I think. Inside, and this time around, Smoke Blooms, Megas the only one to cross. It's fast catwalk here from Astralis. I like this. This is one of the options, though. Bobski very quick up to catwalk. We saw that this is definitely one of the favorite plays for Astralis. Yeah, and they're going to be boosting Lucky up, hoping that there's some sort of a lower dark peak. They're taking their sweet time with it. Yeah, Elise almost uh, able to get in there for free. Flash will set it up, though. He's thinking about it. Leash goes right into the shot. Brilliant. Throwing the flashbang actually kind of gives the game away that you're probably going to peek behind it. But, um, yeah. For once, Astralis is able to pick up the opening kill, and they're going to be excited about that. It takes some of the pressure off. You can see how, again, they're leaning towards the B side of the map in their defense, Astralis, because they're so worried about all the success that they could have had on that B side, and I can't blame them. It's going to be quick. Smoke, deep Molotov, they're expecting some sort of an attack from the other side, and they might be right about that, but not quite the peak, just trying to play it carefully. 50 seconds on the clock, and yeah, Fallen was hoping for more than that, more of an overreaction. Fallen has to be careful because he has the bomb. If he dies out here... Yeah. Oh, Bobski, don't take the bait! But he did, and that could spell the end of them. Magus and Dupree are inside of the B-bomb site. But the position that they're in right here, one good flash and none of them could see anything. And they're never going to get any backup either. Sip and Lucky are quite far away. There's the flashbang that we're talking about. They're blind and they're in a lot of trouble. A follow-up grenade and they just get picked off while their eyes are closed. Dupree goes down next. It's Stewie and Fallen with the kill and the flash assist. 
And Lucky and Sip, they can't even really do much to get close. Flick is unbelievably quickly. And I mean, that's, that's the nature of Fallen these days. What yeah. What's Sip doing out there? Curious. Interesting. Looked like, I thought that he was on the other side of the boxes in CT. For him to be just be standing out there in the middle of nowhere. Huh. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised too. Eight rounds on the board for Liquid now on this T side. Anders, they're picking up steam. They are looking better and better now. Yes, they are. And I don't know. They, the trouble is... That this was in a round where they were down a man. They lost a liege at the beginning did. of this round. But that B-bomb side is just so... It's, it's just too weak for Astralis right now. And they can't really... Tough times. Orb on Lucky. M4 on Magus. And then we've got pistols on the rest. Lucky out long, hoping for some action. Oh, they're going to be pushing, aren't they? Grim is here on his own, though, and gets caught jumping. That is some real unfortunate timing. Poor Grim. They don't even stick around to pick up the gun. No. They just book it. So again, man advantage for Astralis in this round. Dupree thinking about it, but Elise is here, and yeah, he's going to be managing that gun. There's no way you're going to be able to get that one back. Nice little baits, though, from Dupree. You notice that? Chucks an HE in there just to get the punish. So a little bit of damage dealt to Elise. He throws it all the way out of the map. Yeah, good on him. Well done. I mean, you got the time. It's early enough in the round. Why not? Set up that flashbang. Nice kill. And they're going to be smoking once again. Again, they don't really have to commit to this. They've got plenty of time. They have more smokes if they really want to, to recommit to the B split. But I would... I can't even blame them for doing the B thing again. Yeah. It's been working. Huge off angle here for Magus, though. He's going to try and go a little bit aggressive. Maybe could have waited. And that's the round over and done with. Save the orb if you can. Oh, the timing is so outrageous. I, it's so easy to say, but it looked like maybe if he waited Magus there, he would have had the kill on Fallen walking in, potentially. But he walked out, and suddenly there, it wasn't just Fallen. It was like three people that were able to shoot at him. Unfortunate. Yeah, they're really not having any trouble at all just making their way out through mid doors right now, Liquid. Yep. Every single time. Nine to five is going to be the scoreline. Moving into the 15th round. Last of the half, of course. Now, I will say this, if nothing else, you have to say, even if it's 10-5, surely it's demoralizing for Astralis, but it's a, it's a scoreline you can recover from. So Certainly. It's got, there's that to think about, but I bet they would love to have just one more crack at it here, get up to six rounds, and end with just a little bit. They'll get that chance. I mean, Lucky survives with the AWP. They'll have four rifles across yeah. the board. And then, oh, double a, oh, auto snipers. Yes, bring it. Bring the pain down the middle. They haven't hit anyone yet. They, there we go. Like three. I feel like that's always so disappointing. And Fallen trying to go for the punish as well. Fallen trying to get out there fast to catch Bubski. I wanted that to work. That was so cool, though. Because the Stralis were like, right, fast out long and see if we can take the real estate here. And Fallen was ready and waiting. So just damage dealt. No kills, though, for Liquid. But I really like this round from them. Grim. Thinking about it. He's got the right idea. Again, some mid-presence. That smoke is up in CT spawn almost immediately for, for Liquid because they know how much it stresses out Astralis. That smoke is has always been the precursor to all the death that follows. So, yeah, just keep throwing it. You've got so many of them, and you don't really need that many for the main execute. Once, it's, once you're in there, once you get the kill in the middle, don't really need to smoke a lot of the rest of the B-bomb side off either. Look at this. What you can do, though, is because you've been so good at getting out mid, you can just gather up and everybody go on to be alone. <laughs> Look at this group, dude. Magus. Oh, this is going to suck. Yeah. Oh, God. He's being hunted. Instantly taken down. They heard the steps. They knew exactly where he was. And now Stewie is holding the middle, making sure that he catches any rotation that might be coming through. And he's actually really deep in there. He's all the way up in catwalk. Could even jump down behind them. The bomb is going to be planted. And there is no saving in this round for Astralis. They got just going to go for it. Stewie getting nothing out of that flank. Maybe a little bit too aggressive, just feeling like this already won. We've got it. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be thinking that way at all. Naf goes down next and fallen. Going to be picking up one of them. Goes back for more. A second flick and almost hits the third one. It's down to Elise. One on one. For the Danes of Astralis, they are down five rounds to the 10 of Liquid. But they have a pistol round here on the T side. We'll see if they can get something done. No uh, P250s picked up. It's going to be all about the Glocks. Mm. Lucky only just spotting in mid. But here it is. It mix. Only the one for one. What a shame. But he still gets a kill. And they're going to go right up catwalk here. Yeah. Trying to see if they can shut down Fallen on that P2000. 
Grim, not the first shot. Oh, that's the second one. Nice little headshot there to get rid of Dupree. Fallen is there, dropping Magus, and they are bleeding players, Astralis, and they don't have that many left to fight with. The Glock is not connecting here for Lucky, and the bomb plant might even be difficult to actually get. Lucky is going to get one kill. Takes the fight at range. That is very bold, and he's super exposed out here. Going to have to get back behind cover, yep, because otherwise Neff will eventually turn up from that angle. And Bobski, he's got nowhere to hide. He has to fight his way out and murder everyone in his path, and that's not going to happen. Stewie will take him down instead. They get the bomb plant as a sort of consolation prize here on the Astralis. You know, they'll bring the FAMAS back, and they'll make it look good. Now the complaints of everybody. Oh, the FAMAS doesn't work. Look, we're showing you otherwise. They've been super proficient with it. So it, you can't even really argue against it. I like it. Solid rifle. And well, now Astralis, this is the gamble on their part. Fully forcing into this with a couple of Galils, a Mac-10, a Scoot, and a Dream at this point. You know, they absolutely arm. need to win this round. <laughs> they, they really do. There's no head armor on Naf or Fallen, so the Galil and the Mac-10 are still super dangerous to, to those two players. The rest, though, they might have a bit of an edge. We'll see. A minute on the clock. They are waiting around. They would love for Liquid to give them something. Someone pushing aggressively. They're not going to get it at all. Mm, Stu no. could set the flash. No, he doesn't have a flash. Never mind. Yeah. I was thinking for Naf, if Naf wanted to swing and peek, but it's, too early. it's not going to happen. <clears throat> so Liquid have elected to really just go for the all-in strategy. Well, Naf could flash himself in. You could bank it off the side. It's a classic flashbang on this pop, map, but yeah. you, need the, you need the actual the, the ready-to-go oh. sign. He set it up. Not enough, I think. Naf, he still gets the headshot. It's not bad. Stewie nearly caught, and he's going to go down. So that is the B-bomb side wiped out. And Liquid? What do they do? Can't get in fast enough. Wow, just charging it as well. At least no fear whatsoever. Straight through that smoke. And Astralis, they did not leave anybody behind. All in on the B site. And it's looking to me like Liquid are just deciding enough is enough. We're going to back right out of here. Shame that Grim couldn't find an M4. No, they had. No, never mind. They had three from us as an M4. So, yeah. I mean, at least Elysia has his M4. Yeah, I think if they get a kill, make it three on three, they might feel energized to try and, and look for more. This is where in your mind, you know, if it was the Hollywood movie or whatever, you know, Naf gets that first kill and then he turns around and does the pop flash. And as they try to trade it, you know, boom, yeah. they eat that flash and then he's coming around that corner and nuking all of them. You know, that's how it would play out in, in all of our minds. Bobski and Lucky running for long. Magus setting up flashes, but there's no one there to contest them on the CT side. They're going to be actually pushing and crunching into upper dark where no one is. Mm -hmm. Interesting. They've avoided each other completely. Success. Great success. Now Fallen gets to play the peekaboo game. <laughs> He's got the scout. I mean, you definitely should not be underestimating him with really any weapon. Let's see how much of a shooting gallery this is gonna be. There's the flash to set it up. He definitely knows. But Lucky is down in the pit. Is he gonna go for it once again? Just have to trust. Oh, another deep flash to set that one up. He's so trying to catch him, but instead, he's gonna be put down at 31 health. He's the one who gets tagged. And well, in the meantime, Zipnix and Stewie, Zip realizing that um, Upper Dark has been pushed. So they have to commit to this Astralis. Well. Lucky actually has to stay alive. Wait for the teammates to get here. The ship is kind of showing up, but the bomb is now down on long as Lucky goes down. If they can't recover that bomb, that's a disaster. Elise gets dropped. Let's see, Sip could do. Stewie coming in with the MP9, doing a lot of damage to the flashbang as well, and he catches Bobski. And now it's Sip, 35 seconds, one versus one. He could run back, but he's going to have to go right now. Don't slow it down too much. It does take something like 20 seconds ish to get there, so. Yeah, you don't want to be too slow with it. He's got time now, and Stewie's about to realize, yeah, something is up, but he could beat him to it. I'm really wondering what if we have Naf's perspective when he died, because he was, I don't I have no idea what he was doing. He got shot in the back, and that was very weird, and that would have changed everything had he stayed alive. Look at the time. Oh no, look at the time. He might not have it after all. He is done. He miscalculated by a second. Back the other way now, Anders. I mean, CT side dust too is one of those. It is weird. Where if it, if Lady Luck is favoring you today, you can have everything swing, and or you can get caught in the smoke by Zip. 
impeccable timing. This is the long spawn that uh, we keep talking about where if you can get out there just fast enough. Nice shot from Fallen. God, what is he doing? Stewie's falling back a little bit. I think they might have heard him. Nap was there with the Max 7. Not exactly the range you'd want to use it at, but he did do some damage at the very least. Three on three still. And they're all kind of towards the middle at the moment. And the entire Liquid team just near CT spawn. Fallen is ready. They do only have one smoke for the cross if they wanted to go long. So Fallen can probably find at least an attempted flick. The timing is everything here. Fallen and Stewie were watching towards it and Fallen. That's Man. the bomb across. Lucky's now made it onto the bomb site. And Dupree, hugely malleable position here. Get the timing maybe. He's letting one of them pass. Second one, is he going to be quick enough? He knows now. He can call it in for his team. And they just have to stay alive. If they don't engage in any immediate fight here, then Dupree could probably end the round. He's not that far away. Sip is down on long. Lucky is alone on the bomb site. Nades raining down on him. A good shot on that one. And Dupree is there. That's all really well done. I love the fact that Lucky doesn't go for any kind of a really early fight there because that invalidates Dupree's position. Instead, he sticks around. Fallen hitting more headshots with the scout for what even is this? some reason. What a sick shot from Fallen. You're thinking Dupree is just being ruthless, not even going to let Fallen get away with a scout, crying out loud. But now, you see, that's the worst case scenario. You've handed an AK over to Fallen. Just get that money in there and see if you can come up with an upset. Otherwise, you've just got deals. So, Astralis now. Terrific work on their side. 12 to 7. Five round gap here in the 20th round. Got that eight, those AKs up online. Those headshots from uh, Fallen Scout are a little bit worrisome. If, there, if more of those are happening in this round, who knows how this could play out. And then one AK on Stewie. Still plenty of time. And they're just going to go just, just a peek into middle. They don't have anywhere near the same confidence or surety that Liquid did towards middle. The Stratus, they're kind of hanging around. <laughs> okay, fine. Sit down. Whatever. But yeah, they're, they're not feeling nearly as confident, right? They're kind of looking in the middle, maybe taking a fight here or there, but they don't feel like they can just bully their way in the way that Liquid did. So we'll see if that's going to change. Magus got the right idea. A little bit of patience here. Might just give him the easy kill, but Stewie on the crossfire to take him down. And now they at least know where that is. Almost getting the kill on Grim there. Stewie hoping to sneak in a shot. That A bomb site is alone except for Fallen. So the question becomes... How many headshots can he get from that position? There's one on Sip. Can he get more? They're almost lining up. 30 seconds. He's certainly looking for it. Bobski goes down. Fallen. Bit of a missed opportunity and he's diving away. Yeah, he doesn't want to get swung on. Lucky holding him back for the moment. No more nades on the T side either. And they're sandwiched in. There's nowhere they can really stand. If they get rid of Fallen, it's different. But they just can't right now. He's so hard to find. And he does even more damage to pre-law on health. And now it's a 2-1-2. Two -two. He catches Stewie back for more. That is an aggressive play from Dupree. But it probably wins them the round. I don't think Naf is going to be coming back without a kit here. Uh, and that's what you're getting the stars to do. That's what you need your heavy hitters to bring to the table, Anders. Dupree with a must-win round here. Saving it. Two health on him. Naf, he's got a Galil. He's wishing he had something more, you know, a little op, a little AK. That'd be nice. But unfortunately for him, this is the best he's going to get. Unless... Oh, can he find something? Did he get fortunate? Tag on that liquid side and comes to the buy. Just a little bit of everything. Can I just have whatever is on the menu, waiter? They just keep forcing, man. I mean, eventually your lead is going to dry up, though, Liquid. You need to be careful with this kind of strategy. You can't just keep forcing over and over again. Or can you? <laughs> or can you, I guess, right, if you're getting away with these AKs. That's really what's doing it, Anders. If they weren't saving these AKs, they wouldn't be going for these force buys. If you force every round, is it really a force buy or is it just, it's a, just a buy? Is it just a strategy? This is just a buy. Yeah. I mean, don't you try to spend all your money every round anyways? Exactly right. Stewie. First down with the M. Ooh, they get caught. They wanted to pop the surprise there. I think they wanted Stewie to initiate and then the follow-up with the leash right behind and it just got robbed from them. Naf is going to be going down and that is in fact... Well, should be the round. Should be the round. Edging my bets here. Nice uh, aggression from Astralis out the mid doors though. I do like that change up from them. Yeah. Last time it was just, you know, getting lucky, catching a leash in the smoke. This time they've really forced the issue. More confident, right? Yeah, much more confident. Uh, uh. <laughs> How's falling alive? I don't know. 
And how is he still alive? Hold on. Dupree still hasn't hunted him down yet. I mean, obviously, you don't want to just donate an AK for a scout. Mm, Lucky's the only one with full health, so now he's going to be the one taking point on this fight. But, yeah, I don't think that you really care too much. They're pushing the ball right. around the corner to try and bait for them. He's not there. <laughs> That's amazing. That's some awareness. Best warm-up ever. And bomb goes boom. Nine rounds on the board. <laughs> Fallen gets decked trying to take a duel in mid. And look at this. Dupree just charging him. Yeah. He sees the weakness, the opening, and he's ready to try and capitalize on it. Not overextending it. Just wanted to try and see if he catch that one player. Stewie back there by the barrels with a deagle in hand. Dangerous position if you walk right into it. Could easily lose your life. Stewie even had time to set that one up, but now the flashes are coming in. And he's on his own. No one there to help him out. So it's about to be 10 rounds for Astralis. It's really anybody's game. I feel like Astrana still don't have the same level of dominance towards the, the mid-B situation that Liquid did. But that's not the only way to win on Dust2 anyway. No, you have a variety. They don't even need to really rely on long at all right now. It's still such a mid focus kind of game going on. There's a spot here from Debris. Cross their fingers and hopeful right now. Mm -hmm. He has been a force of nature so far, but this has been a bit of a slow map for him at the moment. Fallen is down the middle with the AWP. They don't have a lot of nades on the liquid side either, but they are heavily stacked towards the B-bomb side. They are so prepared in case it's another split towards that side. Even Grim and Elise are on the catwalk. They're actually just... They're all in on this idea. Both of the offers are really just bringing the heat. Nearly 180R for Fallen and for Lucky. Oh! There it is. That is disgusting. He needed one... Just one little blip of that smoke going off. One little audio piece, and he had it triangulated. Lucky misses an opportunity. Grim is going to punish him for that. And now it's a 5 on 3. Second player there, and yeah. it's going to be a little bit of a setup with the liege as well. Getting that one. Fall on the takedown, Bobski. That is absolutely outrageous. What a dominant round. And when it was starting to pick up steam there for Astralis, four rounds in a row, they were about to light their logo on fire, and instead they're going to get sent pack in here. At least if gets a bomb plant out of it, would have been great if he could have got a third kill. That would have been truly terrific. But instead, it is going to be full AKs across the board now for Liquid. Double AWP as well. Let's go. They have just, I mean, this is boss mode now. Oh, yeah. Astralis, life just got a little bit more difficult. That moment, that's like in the horror movies where someone drops like a glass or something as they're sneaking away from them. Just get, just get rocked. Nice oh, tag. Stu gets tagged, though. Lucky is waking up, man. Lucky has definitely had some big rounds here on Dust2 and looking like a change of pace here from Astralis. Yeah, Stewie's low on health already, but he does line them up. The spray is in. He's done all the damage. Nearly a triple for him. Look at Megas can sip. They're so low behind that. Almost a quad kill, in fact, for Stewie, if you do the math on it. Now, Elish goes down in middle. Lucky was still holding that. So weirdly, after all of that, it's the three on three. And it's not done yet. Although we are light on the nades. Lucky's still got a smoke. They have a couple mollies. And you can see that Liquid just called a freeze, basically. Grim is starting to rotate back over, but Fallen and Nav have not budged. Now we get them in position. And you can have the full rotate minute on the clock, but with only a single smoke grenade, crossing is going to be very hard. You don't have any flashes either. So I don't know if you want to go up long, because how are you going to get to the bomb site? You have no way to get to the bomb site. Yeah, it'd, it'd certainly be real tricky. They're just going to walk the whole way, aren't oh, they? Here we go, then. 40 seconds. If they if they start throwing many Buckle nades up. out here, they they kind of give the game away. That that allows for Liquid to make strong rotations. They have a single flash. Yeah, so they can smoke and throw the flash and everything. But the trouble with walking is you could walk into one of those... Oh, there's two orbs in play, right? You could just die doing, walking around the corner. So far, so good, though, for Astralis. If they get close, pop the flash and the smoke and just go for it right away. You have to get past Fall in the smoke. You can do a little bit. There's a big gap there. Flash and a Molotov. Oh, he gets it! One more time! 
taking down Sip. He is so lightning fast. Nine seconds on the clock, and Magus, he's delaying it just a bit, and he doesn't have time for it either. Lucky with the kill on Fallen. That's huge. Three seconds left, and it will be a bomb plant. At least they have a shot now. And Lucky, he's going to stick around on long. He's not going down, down into the pit. He wants to see if he can help out Magus here. Walking into the corner, there's no grenades left on Liquid, except for the flashbang. Is that enough? Naf has actually changed his mind. He wants to go back down and try and see if he can shoot Lucky in the back. It's doable, and they have a kit as well on Naf. Watch for that if he dies, which... Oh, he maybe should have, but Lucky misses the shot. Now it's all on Magus. He runs for an instant headshot, and now it's about buying time. All he has to do is not be found by Naf, and he wins the round. Naf trying to see if he can spray him down. He knows it. Magus, this is what he does real well, and Naf gets the kill, but loses the round. Astralis on 11 rounds now. Dead fallen. Not in the middle yet. Boosted quickly up on the catwalk. Is fallen though. Nice shot from Lucky. He's definitely growing in confidence and his overall output is significantly up from yesterday. Looks like a much different player. Much improved. Four versus five now. Stewie inside of the B bomb site. Is he going to go aggressive alone with the AWP? He's thinking about it just a little bit. He, if he dies, the round is over. They're not even going to try and get close. It's all on his shoulders. A lot to deal with. Flash there. Actually, that's a friendly flashbang on the player. Slowing them down and no scope. Does not connect. Naf's kind of showing up, but yeah, he should not have been. No reason to do that. Not a whole lot you can hope to do there. Oh, I mean, wow. highlight moment in your mind, of course, that they line up for you somehow and you're able to get a two for one. But... Uh, it's just not going to happen. The likelihood of that happening against a team of Astralis' caliber is just slim to none. And now... Anders, it's about to be one round. It's about to be one round. And the, and the money is a real big problem right now for Liquid. And it's going to continue to be that probably for the rest of the half here. Unreal. Flashed in. The Liege losing these rifles. It's not great news for Astralis if they do it. It's not like they have a lot of money, so I can understand if they don't want to be super aggressive, but if they lose three of three of them but take the rest here away from Liquid, that's going to be worth it, especially this AWP. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot from Fallen. And it's looking like, okay. This is a real short runway, and it's looking pretty good, so more power to him. 26th round, it's going to be that AWP and the save them four, and they're out long immediately looking for the fight, but not getting it, though. Not quite, not quite. Yeah, they're neck and neck in ADR. Both of them are having a tremendous impact for both of their teams right now. It is really solid to see. But uh, now we do just get that Deagle buy coming in here from Team Liquid. Fallen by the car. With no smokes to put out exactly this kind of Molotov. Does he see it? He's got to be so careful back here. Now, the problem is the Molotov doesn't burn everything out. Oh, they shoot him through the glass. That is rough. Nearly lining it up for a double. But Magus will take him down. Some sweet revenge there. Sip did fall in the meantime. The smoke gives away the position, so they know that somebody's close CT now. And so uh, that one smoke kind of gives away a lot in terms of information here. And they're kind of fishing on the other side, because Dupree's waiting, expecting for Stewie to go aggressive in upper dark, which he's been a couple of times. Mm -hmm. But he hasn't caught anything yet. So eventually Dupree will, well... Lucky bring the bomb see back. see Lucky's back in with that bomb. They're so. going to smoke the cross and go back. Pretending. Sacrificing Magus. He's the captain. Flashes through. And that's a problem. Because they don't see anybody. Yep. They don't see anyone else. 30 seconds. They know. Stewie pushing Lord Dark with Naf right behind him. And the bomb is right in front. Lucky, he's in a lot of trouble here. Got the pistol out. And he gets the headshot as well. Huge place. Gets around the corner. If he would have got caught, it would have been the bomb down with 20 seconds. But now instead, they should have a clear shot at here. Two on three. Bobski in the middle. They still don't know about Naf. I don't think they realize. And they misses the shot with the Deagle. He had to get that. He had to hit that shot. Now it's all on the leash, and he gets shut down by luck. Big round, no spot in mid this round from Astralis. They have no info there. Couple of nades early towards long. And because they had no spot, they can't, like, with that smoke going down as well, it's going to make it difficult to rush B, but... Yeah, and I think they, play slow, they even just wanted to try and get the shot off, I think, through the smoke there, and they just wanted to see if they could do it. Back with the double up, uh, Liquid. 27th round now. What do they have left? Astralis have really looked good. Just as good as Liquid did on their own T side. Everyone struggling on the CT sides. And Liquid have really, they've again, they've won individual rounds. The three of them that they have in the second half are all just little blips on the map. It's not like they've won anything consecutive. So that means that it's much harder for them to build the money up. 
not fun at all. The pressure is immense now on both of these teams. <clears throat> you lose this on either side. Money isn't terrific for Astralis either. No. It's much better, but... Yeah, they can't the, just cruise, no. Yeah, they can't just cruise, so you need to win this round. He's once again put himself in a position where he has to be the hero. Has to basically get at least a double kill, maybe more than that. Or they lose Grim up on that site for sure. He's going to be alone with nowhere to stand, and it's a quick trade there. That was set up for that moment. Grim is going to be going down. Even if he got Dupree, he would have immediately had to relocate, and Bubski would have been there to take over. That is a nice knockout punch. They actually hit probably the weakest point of the map. Not because Fallen or Grim were there, just because they were there alone. I don't know why Astralis are pretending like they want to try and peek this. Surely you just get the bomb plant and stay away from any battles. All right. <laughs> I was having a real crisis there in my brain for a minute. And with nine seconds left, I mean, yeah. Bomb gets planted, and the remainder for Liquid absolutely need to back off and save. They need to do everything they possibly can to stay alive here. Yeah. These three guns are crucial going into the next round for Liquid. Yeah, Fallen, talk about a bold position. I mean... It He's, I guess he's maybe just expecting to find Zipnix there, lurking. No, but in fairness to him, that is exactly the style that he plays, right? It, yeah. It's just that... Astralis had also set it up to get the instant refrag, but if he gets his aim back in that moment, if they're a little bit delayed for the spacing, he probably takes down both of them, and that's the job done. So, I mean, it, it, it's the style that plays exactly to his strengths. I, I can't really even blame him for it. Nav is going to sit back. the road. Liquid did leave a little bit in the bank at least, right? They've, they've bought a bit, but they'll have a chance to fight for overtime if, uh, if that's what they want. Nades onto Elige, just in case he wanted to play real close. Scout and M4, that's nice. But Liquid, if you're paying attention, are running into kind of the same problem that Astralis were running into, and most of the teams on this map. Some of the Brazilian ones I've found are much better, no surprise, at being aggressive on Dust2. But most teams have a real hard time doing it, so you're, you're sort of left just dealing with whatever the T side is throwing at you, but you don't really know what's happening until it's actually already in play, and it's really suffocating. They've tried a bit with Stewie pushing in an upper dice. It's a little bit, but not much. So kind of the same issue folding itself out here for Liquid. Four versus five in this round. Stral is about to be at match point. If they can just solve this one. And a spot in the Royal Arena. Now they might actually be not making a huge mistake, but they could be running into the more defended part of the map. Megastore is actually... Wow, he's leading from the front here. He's going to run all the way up the middle and get shot by Elyse, apparently. Deleted. But the problem is now they're getting... This is what I was about to say. Now they're pushing into a three-man setup out here with a scout as well. Fallen a little bit quick on that one. Naf is here with the M4. This could be good. Grim has gone down in the meantime. Naf looking for another kill. The bomb does get planted and fallen. He's having trouble out long of his own. It's Naf to fall. Lucky with an impeccable shot. And they're going to be able to negotiate the obstacle just fine. Three-man setup at the A bomb site, but they do all right at the end of it. Elyse going to find a quick headshot. Can he go for it? He actually had the right idea. Thinking about it, Sip is down there. And they should try and hide from him. They don't have a lot of health. Sip is going to... One who's uh, really struggling is uh, Grim right now. He's uh, underperforming yeah. in, this, in this map. Uh, if he could come alive here in the remaining two rounds of regulation, that would be terrific for Liquid. All right, so Fallen crosses back, does get spotted by Lucky, and it's some interesting information. They can't really trust it too badly because he could have snuck back again without anyone really seeing it, so you got to be careful about making those calls too decisively. Stral is working at putting some pressure on middle, and this is a trick and a half. Yeah, very cool. Oh, they might just get the kill here. Ooh, the unscope at the wrong time, potentially. They're actually waiting for them to walk up the stairs. This is so good. All they need is that one opening. This isn't a marathon right now. We're talking about two rounds, so whatever you have in your back pocket, you play it now. Minute, Minute on the clock. clock. Yep, fallen. He is just a second away, an inch away. He crouches right under. And that actually gets called. I can't believe that they saw that on the Astralis side. How insane is that that they spot that instantly? That, that's not something that's played all the time. That's not some common thing that they could have expected. And yet somehow it just looks like, yeah, no problem. But they're going up catwalk, Anders. This is it. Are they, though? Because Bobski is really far away. Now, he could go down middle to catch rotations, but this could also be a fake. 
Yeah, maybe it's the bomb is back there. He's jumping down, trying to see if he can catch anyone. It's going to be Stewie to drop him, but they know now. There's no chance here. They're running out of time, Estrada. They have to go right now. 20 seconds. Lucky is going to be picking up a leash. They know that Stewie is out here behind an instant shot. The B bomb side is lost. And very likely, so is the map. Oh, and he actually catches him coming through the window. It's going to be a bomb plant anyway. One versus two. And Grim, everything on his shoulders, but fallen. Very nearly winning the map right here, or at least getting it into overtime. Grim sneaking through. Can he get the first one for gun barrel showing? And he gets tagged in the face.